Aloha Yugi 2, this is Neo Drew bringing you an updated version of a deck profile I posted earlier today on YouTube because um, I got some new cards in the mail this afternoon. Um, so, I was it, and I worked this out, and I've made a modification for the Agent Sworn deck. Um, so, let's just get started. Three Master Hyperions, boss man of this deck, and yeah, he's just awesome. Better than Dark Arm Dragon. Three, Agent of Mystery Earth. This card is the bomb. Search stuff out. Bam. Three, Jupiters. Just because this card is amazing. And just cycle through stuff. Special Summon, Hyperion. And then it wants it's removed from play. Normal Summon this guy, Special Summon him back from the inner removed from play. Just for discarding a Light Fairy type. I don't know if we could just get everything to work. Did I? There. Two Celestia. And two the Shires. Just because these cards are make up the light sworn backbone of the deck. Mostly just for getting extra draw power. And if stuff works out, happen on this in the field. Tribute it for this, blow up two things, and attack for a 23 beater. Which work, actually, I think can work out pretty good. I still need to uh, make my adjustments to the Dueling Network deck to make it look exactly as a deck I have just built and tested out. So, if any of you guys watch this video, I'll be in Dueling Network for the next couple hours uh, from the posting of this vid, ready to test it out. Um, to Zeradius. And just because it's my searcher or the deck for getting card, our uh, Sanctuary and Sky. And it's a 21 beater. My personal tech choice for this, it doesn't matter really what fairy build I use, use this guy. Two, um, Barrier Statue of the Heavens, just because it's an amazing card. It's a weaker version of Fossil Dino, but only it makes it where only light monsters can be special summoned. And then the bigger version of it, two, Archlord Christia, um, amazing card, and, yeah, actually now I think about it, it's better to have secret rares, and those super rare versions are going to be reprinted in the tins next month, um, but yeah, it's a, my big bad beater, um, version of barrier statues, I mean, same effect, are just about the same effect, I mean, this thing only lights can be special summoned, this means no special summoning, um, and yeah. And to finish up the monster lineup, one Honest, just because it's a really good card, good defense, and what light deck would be complete without one Honest? Uh, personally, come September, I hope it comes back to two, but probably not, but I can hope. And next, for the Magic cards, three, Sanctuary in the Sky, just because what fair deck would be, this card is essential for some of my trap card lineup. And for my monsters to be able to pull off, my um, agents to be able to pull off their effects more. To m just make their effects better. Uh, three cards from the sky. Draw Part of the draw power of this deck. The only drawback to this card is that you can't special summon and do the battle phase. Special summoning part's not the worst part, but the battle phase kind of sucks. But unlike duality, I can activate three if I have three in hand. And the, the stuff to use it, I can do three in one turn. Uh, solar recharge, thin the deck out. And just more draw power. Two enemy controllers because, and one book of moon. Um, reason running these is because book of moon's at one. Eh. We'll see what happens in December if this comes back to like two or something. And last but not least, charge the light brigade, thin the deck out, and it's a searcher. I'll only be able to get Shire with it, but I think that's okay because it thins the deck out. Now for my trap card lineup, the reason I run three Sanctuary in the Skies is so I can run three of these. My big bad negate your stuff and you die. <laughs> I mean seriously. Negates monsters, magics, traps, all for the simple price of being able to just for having Sanctuary in the Sky on the field. Big bad card awesome and one of the, and now 
unlike previously where I only ran two dark bribes, my third one arrived in the mail today. It's a super rare version. Eee, got it for like five bucks. So pretty good deal. Um, just negate stuff. Two magic cylinder. Um, just, uh, it's a burn card. And I think it, um, throws my opponent off guard when I use this against their stuff. Um, then, one seven tools of bandit. Um, I might take it out since I have three dark bribes and three divine punishments. But, just, I don't know. What do you get? Just, you guys let me know what you think. Then, one mirror force, staple. One torrential tribute, staple. And... One Solemn Judgment staple. That's the deck, people. Um, I don't have an extra deck for it. Just because I haven't been able to figure out what to put in for the stuff. Um, if anybody has any ancient sacred wyverns, they'd be willing to trade to me. Um, just check out my trade binder videos. I'll have the links posted in the box below. Um, just check those out. And if, if you guys want to work out a trade with me... Um, Let's set it up because I need those wyverns. I I would be happy just ultra. I don't care if they're ultra or ultimate. Um, I just like to have a couple of them. All right. And as always, people just let me know what you think of the deck and come challenge me. Help me test it out on dueling network. All right. Thanks and later's.